What's up, YouTube? <clears throat> this your girl, Comedic Medium Prophetess, Grand Rising. I am back with another video. If you're new to my channel, I am a prophetic tarot reader. I do not read cards based off the meanings. I read cards based off what the spirit tells me, the holy angels, and the divine. And I'm going to do a collective reading. Holy Spirit. Holy Angels, Archangel Michael, Archangel Raziel, Archangel Raphael, please give me clear and precise messages, clear and precise messages for the collective, clear and precise messages, what's going on, Spirit is telling me to keep shuffling, Spirit is telling me to give some of my Prism Oracle cards, one second, ooh, must be a lot going on. We have rejection. So you know, you guys, rejection is protection. We have success. Somebody could be jealous of your success. We have, ooh, happiness. Somebody is jealous of your happiness, your success, your creativity. And they've been trying to play in your energy. But that's okay because you're standing strong, standing in your power. So keep the faith, right? Somebody really idolizes you as well. <laughs> but they're jealous of your success. They're jealous of your creativity. You could have blocked this person or this person could have blocked you. This makes this person angry. Whether you block this person or not, it makes this person angry because through it all, through all the fuck shit, through all the bullshit, guess what? You're balanced. And you're someone li somewhere living very comfortable, not worried about this person. You're balanced. You're happy. You're being creative. You're focusing on your goals, your abundance. I'm hearing your love life, so somebody new could be coming in. You're happy. You're very happy. This person wants you to be sad. They keep trying to project their energy off onto you, but they're the ones that say it and frustrated but like i said didn't i tell you that rejection is protection you're protected it's nothing to worry about because see when you do right by people it ain't nothing to worry about you know that you were sweet and loving to this person but now this person is the one that has gone through anxiety and depression and sad because this is what they want for, for you they're jealous of your creativity. They're jealous of you because you're conscious. You're strong. You're standing in your power. I'm hearing some of you could be a Leo. This person needs to surrender to the divine and quit trying to play off in your goddamn energy because whatever they doing, it's not going to work. You're too protected and very intuitive as well. You could be a high priestess. Yeah, you keep working on your passion. Keep working on your goals. The more this person try to project their energy off onto you and play in your energy, they're going to ex experience pain. This person, like I said, they need to take a look in the mirror. That's what they need to do. They need to take a look in the mirror and look at them damn selves before they try to play in your energy and fucking judge you. Yeah, so whether this person ghosted you or not, that ain't got nothing to do with you. This person needs to get their life and get on with their self and get trying to, quit trying to play in your energy. But... Enough of that. Give me one second, you guys. My bad. I thought I um, I thought I had my uh, my phone was unplugged, but it's not. Whoever this person is, man, this person is a fucking creep. I'll just give you that. This person has no life. I'm hearing no job either. I need to get a life and a job and quit worrying about you. One second. Let me get a drink. Somebody could have secretly got married on you, I'm hearing. Somebody could have got married for money. Yeah, somebody put you in a third-party situation. Somebody also could have got somebody pregnant as well. 
this could be a secret to you or you do know this or this could be your confirmation yeah i told you with the moon card this could have been hidden from you somebody could have gotten secretly married and had a baby as well <laughs> they're regret they're regretting that shit i feel like this person intentionally did this shit to you to try to make you jealous yeah but it's not working <laughs> because you're standing in your power look and this person is stuck in this hangman energy because this person intentionally so like I said, you could have ghosted this person or this person could have ghosted you. But either way it go, whether you left this person or this person left you, collective, they intentionally tried to make you jealous. They kept secrets from you, kept a lot of shit hidden. So this person could have cheated on you. I'm hearing cheated on you with one of your friends or some shit like that. Yeah, like I said, this person is going through karma. <laughs> Like, this shit is starting to be funny to me, man. This person is going through karma and you just moved on. Not worried. Unbothered. Yeah. Yeah. This could be your baby father, your ex-husband. You could be this emperor here as well. So, you could be a divine masculine. This could be an ex-girlfriend of yours who wants you to take care of them. I'm hearing. I'm hearing somebody wants to be taken care of. If you are a divine masculine, this could be an ex that you cut off that you don't want to deal with no more that's mad because you won't take care of them or whatever. Look, look how mad she is. She's so mad. Like, why are you so mad? Calm down, girl. It ain't that serious. I feel like if you're a divine masculine, you can... <laughs> you could be saying look why are you so fucking mad i feel like this feminine is jealous like childish as hell this feminine is childish and jealous of hell i'm hearing they're jealous of you because you're like spiritually high ranked or something you're totally unbothered this divine feminine i mean ooh, excuse me i'm just getting another download i meant to say this karmic feminine but this karmic feminine could have tried to portray themselves as a divine feminine they could have tried to stop you from getting to your divine feminine. This is their fucking judgment. They're going through fucking judgment with a divine. Somebody is getting justice. So your divine feminine, you could be getting justice right now because this karmic could have tried to block you and stop you from your true love, your true divine feminine, your true divine counterpart. I'm hearing you could be I'm hearing that you could just now Excuse me, I'm getting tongue-tied. I'm hearing that you could just now be waking up to this or something like that. Maybe you were like lost in the past. Maybe you were blind. You didn't know what was going on. The karmic that you could have been in a relationship with, you could have thought they were like some type of earth angel, somebody that was very sweet, very loving, and you're now realizing that it was this is your divine feminine. You're now realizing that somebody that you betrayed for this karmic here is really your divine feminine, I'm hearing. Yeah, but whoever this is is very childish. Either you're seen in high honor or this divine feminine is seen in high honor. I'm hearing like spiritually high ranked. Somebody could be an air sign here. I'm hearing Libra. Yeah, so this karmic feminine could have cheated on you with one of your friends or your homeboys. I feel like I'm talking to a divine masculine. Yeah, this karmic feminine here is also a high priestess. They do spell work. They they do have spiritual gifts, I'm hearing, but they use it for evil. Yeah, you could be stalking and watching the divine feminine on social media or your karmic could be doing this. Either or, whoever is fucking doing this, they need to stop because that's a form of spell work. I, I, I'm going to tell you that now. Yeah, this bitch is crazy. Look at her. She crazy and psychotic. And she mad because you don't want to take care of her no more. And you don't want to be with her. This could be male or female. Anything else, Spirit, before I close this out? This is just a quick collective message. I'll be back with more. Yeah, you need to quit stalking and watching. So if you stalking and watching a divine feminine, somebody you want to reconcile with, look, this is just a collective reading. Take what resonates, leave what don't. You need to quit doing that because you're causing your own blockages in your life. That's a form of spell work. If you want to reach out to this person, reach out to this person. I mean, what are you going to do? Just live your fucking life wondering what if or could if or should if or I wish I would have sent this message. I would. I wish I would have sent this text. So you need to do it. I feel like somebody writes out text messages or yeah look the empress yeah you could be writing out text messages or something like that to this empress here or dms and you don't send it you don't know what to say you're in regret you don't know if this this divine feminine has moved on you could have a child with this person i'm hearing you could be looking at old photos old pictures of your children or something like that or this divine feminine could have posted a picture of your child or something like that yeah 
I feel like you feel blocked off from this divine feminine because they're in hermit mode. There's somebody that's very mysterious. You don't know what's going on. I'm hearing that you used to. So if you were in a relationship with this person in the past, like, look, you guys, I'm picking up on a divine masculine here. And I'm also picking up on a karmic masculine here. So you, if you're a divine feminine that's watching this reading, you could be, you could have cut off a karmic masculine and your divine masculine could want to come towards you. But what I'm hearing is, is that... If you have like a twin or a divine masculine here that's in your energy, that's trying to play off in your energy, look, with this magician, I don't feel like it's bad. I feel like this this particular divine masculine is a good guy. They're a good man. They just want to make it work. They want to reconcile with you. They're saying that they've gotten rid of the karmic. <laughs> they're saying that they're very much in love with you. They want to reconcile with you. I feel like whoever, this 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 is not a bad twin. This is not a bad divine counterpart. I'm going to just keep it a book. I'm going to keep it 100. This is really a good guy that fucked up. So this divine masculine didn't do anything bad, bad. This, you you can have a karmic masculine. You, I'm glad you cut this motherfucker off. You need to keep this motherfucker off because this motherfucker is evil, evil okay but you have a twin here yeah i told you yeah this karmic masculine is evil but there is a twin here there could be a karmic masculine and a divine masculine like your twin that could be balancing in the spirit but what i'm hearing is you could be a divine feminine that don't that don't want either one of these motherfuckers yeah because both of these motherfuckers betrayed you i feel like you're, you're the kind of woman or man, but I'm heavily hearing there's a female here. You're the kind of divine feminine that don't play no games. You ain't got time for fuck shit and bullshit. And even if you was like that in the past, you're not like that anymore. Yeah. I feel like there is somebody twin here, somebody divine masculine. I don't feel like they did anything really that bad. There's somebody twin here that really wants to reconcile with you. So, I mean, I can't tell you what to do yet. All of, they're very smitten by you as well. They're extremely smitten by you. They watch you all the fucking time. I'm hearing so smitten. I'm hearing every time this masculine sees you post something, every time this masculine sees a photo of you or a picture of you, they get butterflies in their stomach. They just light up. Whoever this masculine is if you're this masculine watching this just reach out to this divine feminine you never know what's gonna happen hey, hey don't knock until you try you don't want to live your life saying i could have would have should have could have would have then you know what i'm saying you'll never know look you'll be somewhere sad depressed this is what this karmic feminine wants for you this karmic feminine wants you to be like this so look take what resonates leave what don't if you don't understand what i'm saying rewind fast forward i don't know do what you need to do but like i said if you're a divine feminine watching this you have two lovers here you have a divine masculine twin something like that or this could actually be a new person this could be a high level soulmate that's very much in love with you oh wow doom, doom, doom. so y'all take <laughs> hey side note for i say this Y'all, y'all know how I usually read my homemade cards. Like, I know how to read tarot. For those of y'all who don't know, I just don't do it most of the time because I'm a prophetic reader. And I mean, I really don't have a reason to it, but like when I read like regular tarot without my homemade cards, I always get the giggles because I either get the giggles or angel number 13, 13 on the clock. I either get the giggles or I get real fucking mad about some with it pertaining to the energy and the reading because I'm a prophetic reader <laughs> and I can see shit in my third eye when I read and some of this stuff be hilarious, man. But listen, I'm going to keep it a buck with you, okay? So if you are a divine feminine, right, take what resonates, leave what don't. You can have a divine masculine that wants to reconcile with you. I don't feel like this masculine is lying anymore. They're like a karmic to you now because this masculine betrayed you for a karmic. They stayed stuck off. They chose to stay stuck off in a karmic cycle. Now, here's the good thing. This twin, I feel like this is somebody's twin. This divine masculine, this twin, they could have been a devil in your life in the past. They could have been a devil in your life in the past. They could have been very evil in the past, but they've changed. Angel number 14, 14 on the clock, they've really changed, okay? <laughs> they've really changed and they're trying to do right, okay? They, they, this is what they're saying. I've cut this bitch off. I didn't told this bitch. I don't want her no more. I love you, divine feminine. Now, take what resonates, leave what don't. 
of this whole reading could resonate with you. There is also a karmic mask in here that wants you back, but they just want to, they just want you back to break you back down and use you. So this could be a narcissist. And I'm going to tell you right here, I wouldn't reconcile with this motherfucker. This motherfucker is evil and they probably headed to jail. I'm hearing somebody can't, can't pay their court fees. Somebody can't pay their legal fees. Somebody got tickets and, and, and all type of shit out the ass. Don't trust this motherfucker. Okay. Now, there is a new man here that could be your high-level soulmate. Now, look. Here's the gag. Here's the teeth. All three of these motherfuckers is fighting for you, Divine Feminine, in the spirit. Now, this new man, this new motherfucker right here, this, this look at him. Now, I know this is Samuel L. Jackson on this picture, but we not going to pay attention to that. This new man right here, oh, he ain't playing no games. He's slaying them. Look. And this is my Sharpie, but picture this being a sword. He's slaying them like, get back, get back. I don't know. Whoever this divine masculine, I ain't going to say, whoever this high level soulmate is right here, this man right here don't play no games. And he's not going to play about his divine feminine, okay? Or woman, male or female. But I feel like this is a female. This man ain't going to play. This man already ain't playing. Even if you ain't never met this man before. This man is watching you. This man know you. This man will kill for you. Die for you. I'm hearing. I'm hearing that song by Sierra. I'll give you everything you need. I'll die for you. You're the greatest love I ever see. Greatest love I ever seen. Where or I'm gonna be. On top of that, you've been there for me. I don't know the words, y'all. I'll give you. Yeah, I'm trying to think of the words, but listen, y'all need to go and listen to this. If you're a female, right? <clears throat> If you are a female and you like Sierra, I don't know. She got a song that she wrote for her husband. Uh, not fucking future, but shit. Ooh, they was never married. Forgive me, God. For Russell, she wrote a song for him. I don't know if she wrote it or somebody else wrote it. You know, these artists be having ghostwriters, but. <clears throat> the name of the song is great. It's the greatest love. Go listen to that song. I feel like whoever this new person is, they already know you, but you don't know them. And if you do know of them or met them previously in a past life, maybe you met them briefly in in passing, this masculine wants you. They made up their mind. This masculine is saying, when I meet this goddamn woman or this man, I'm marrying them on the spot. I'm hearing this masculine is so in love with you. They want to go to to the courthouse. This is going to be a tower for you. This is going to be a shock. This is going to be a breakthrough as well. I'm hearing you're going to receive other breakthroughs as well. I'm hearing financial breakthroughs. This masculine is waiting patiently. Because I feel like so if you still stuck on your twin... Are you still stuck on this karmic ex? Because I feel like this twin, there is a, there's three masculines here. Okay, divine feminine. There is a karmic masculine here. Listen, baby girl or, or, or sir, ex this motherfucker out. This karmic masculine right here, get the fuck away. This masculine right here was just a lesson in for a season. This masculine, 18, 18, 18 on the clock. This masculine was only for a season in your life, okay? Male or female. This motherfucker is headed to jail, probably even death. I'm hearing this this masculine right here is a dope fiend. They own drugs. They had they fucking and sucking for money. I'm hearing they fucking and sucking men and women. Somebody likes trans women here as well. Look, that ain't none of your business. I don't care about this motherfucker. So use discernment. It's your choice, but we going to get rid of him. Look, we going to kick him to the curb. Look, I just threw him off the table, okay? Now, listen. <laughs> Now, for this two masculines here, okay, forget the karmic masculine. There is a karmic twin here who really was your twin flame, but they chose a karmic lifestyle because this slow motherfucker, and I got to keep it a bucket, keep it 100. 
This slow motherfucker actually thought their karmic was their divine feminine. I feel like whoever this karmic that they're attached, attached to, this is an evil ass high priestess who's very fucking intuitive. And they're also a fucking magician. They do fucking spell work and they they are good they're a good kitchen magic witch. I can they ain't see you're 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 royal and and, and and magical and all of that good stuff by DNA, divine feminine. This karmic bitch, oh she a slick bitch. Look at her with a cigarette. See, you a high priestess too. And you're 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 divine though. You're not demonic. I'm I'm telling you, I'm picking up on the reptilian bitch because I always pick up on the reptilian karmic. Okay, somebody DNA, your DNA is royal. You probably come from ancient Kemet, the Mayans. You probably fucking asiatic i mean you know you might got uh asian in your blood i don't know what the fuck is but you come you might be from the damn middle eastern times i don't fucking know you could have been walking around with julius caesar then i mean you know hey everybody went to kemet to get the knowledge julius caesar all those big empires you see after uh kemet you know what i'm saying because you know they they invaded kemet in, in 3000 bc and all that before christ if you see before christ anyways i ain't getting into all of it y'all you know how i get sidetracked i I'd be doing another goddamn history lesson. But look, listen, the devil, the karmic masculine is gone. The devil is gone. But there is a twin here, okay? There is a twin here that really has changed. But they're karmic now because I feel like this masculine took too long. They took too long to reconcile with you. They took too long to wake up to the twin flame journey. But... I'm going to keep it a honey with you. This person has changed. This person is willing to do the work now to make you happy. But I feel like it might be a little too late. Now, listen, you have. Yeah, this motherfucker right here ain't playing no games. And he's smooth with it, too. Yeah. Yeah, he's smooth with it. Yeah, whoever this ex, whoever. Yeah, this bitch need to go on. Like, okay. This karmic feminine here, forget, we're not talking about the karmic mask. We're talking about your karmic twin because they're karmic now. This motherfucker, uh, queen, this queen of swords here, which queen of blades in this deck, this, this person's karmic is hell bent on stopping this masculine to get towards you. But I don't even fucking think you want this fucking masculine no more. And this masculine is sick, slick, trying to get towards you. Listen, I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. If you want to go around me. I swear I don't know what to tell you. Don't know what to tell you. If you want my lock and my key, I swear I don't know what to tell you. That's Aaliyah. Infatuation. What she say? Infatuation. What I'm facing when I'm with you. You're watching my every move. Yeah, she said. Yeah, I thought. I thought I said it right. She say, infatuation, what I'm facing when I'm with you. You're watching my every move. Yeah, she's saying you can't have a key to my heart. If you want my lock and my key. Y'all go listen to that song. I don't know the words. My lock and my key. No. Yeah. Yeah, that's a be that's a beautiful song. Y'all go watch that. Listen, I, I was singing that for a reason. Y'all know I get song downloads, but uh look at this high level soulmate. Oh, oh my god! Divine feminine! Y'all finna get true authentic love. Oh my god, look at him. Oh he's sitting there waiting patiently, divine feminine. Oh, hold on, y'all. Now, don't you take this devil back. This motherfucker going to jail. They in the closet and all that and above. And this karmic twin could be in the closet too. I don't know. But look, both of these motherfuckers could be going to jail. But listen, listen, baby. You made it. You passed the test. Congratulations, Divine Feminine. Listen, don't go back. Please don't go back for comedic, for comedic medium prophetess. Don't go back. Be careful with who you give the key to your heart to. Let me just put it like that. Look at this high level soulmate waiting on you, watching you, saying, are you ready? Listen, this high level soulmate, you either knew this high level soulmate in a past life or y'all had some type of brief encounter in the past. 
It's time now. I feel like you guys couldn't be together in a past life. You couldn't be together because maybe you chose your karmic twin or your karmic masculine or vice versa. Or maybe both of y'all did the same thing, but both of you have healed childhood wounds. Both of you have healed. Both of you are chosen as well, I'm hearing. And both of you are earth angels. And guess what? It's time now. This is your true twin. This is your, I feel like you had to clear out a karmic cycle with your karmic masculine and this karmic twin. Both of these masculines was false. Now this, this, this karmic twin, poof, be gone. Now this karmic, I mean, this, now this karmic masculine, poof, be gone. But this karmic twin, they really have changed. But the contract has been voided. It's over. You cleared out your karmic cycle, the karmic, the karmic uh, contract with both of them. Now this high level soul, man, look how handsome he is. Oh my God, y'all. And I'm hearing this is going to be for black women, white women, black men, black women. I mean, black men, white men, Hispanic men, all races is involved in this. I'm telling you, it's up to five to ten divine feminists. Y'all finna get y'all breakthrough. Look how handsome he is. He said, I'm finna come get my baby. I'm already watching you. Now, you ain't either you met this masculine before or you don't remember meeting this masculine. You could have met this masculine when you was a child. This masculine wants you. He's watching you or she's watching you. I'm hearing this is a female, though. You're going to be so happy. Because I'm hearing that song, do you know what today is? It's our anniversary. It's our anniversary. Oh, this man or this woman, I'm hearing, oh my God, I'm so happy for you guys. I'm so excited. I can see this in my third eye. This man is going to love your dirty draws and go. they're going to ride for you. This man is already riding for you in the spirit. Listen, look, don't pay attention to my, don't laugh at my fake sword, but this man right here, he's slaying in the spirit. Look, he humble. He humble. He chill. He humble, but he kicking ass in the spirit. He's saying, get back. He didn't already demolish the, the karmic masculine. But this twin, this this twin over here putting up a fucking spite. That's my divine feminine. That's my divine feminine. This masculine said, all right, my nigga. All right, boy. All right, son. Get the fuck on, bruh. But he ain't saying a word, though. He coming like a thief in the night. Get ready, divine feminine. All right, my name is the Comedic Medium Prophetess. If you like this video, please like, subscribe, and share. Thank you, and goodbye.